I'd be lit. Man, right if, now for two hours and I'm buff. If losing weight was like the Sims, I think we would all be ripped. I guarantee you, somebody would still not be ripped. <laughs> I feel. I feel like Damn. at that point, like if you if if you could literally live your life like The Sims, there there's mm-hmm. really no reason not to be ripped or be fit or just about anything. It, it takes what two hours of your day <laughs> in The Sims yeah. for like yeah. the rest of it like really does almost the don't rest of you, your life. Like, don't let you be able to fast forward. Oh yeah, if you could fast forward like in the game, man, what? That reminds that reminds me like we did that fucking topic the other day, but like another superpower. It's not like a superpower I see anybody have, but like think like console commands. That is what you have. You have the That'll power be dope. of console commands or like some form of like video game uh thing other than like quick side and shit like that. That'll be like, dope. Fucking console commands, bruh. Mother load. Bruh, mother load. Easily. Mother load. <laughs> Easily. <laughs> Putting that bitch in like three or four times and calling it a day. Up, down, left, right, R1, L1, putting all the GTA cheat codes in. Exactly. Everything. Then going to, then going to world edit, delete my job. That should be lit. <laughs> Go to world edit and delete my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oops, my bad. Rip. Oops, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Wait, what were we even? (laughs) Yo, my memory is terrible, bro. (laughs) What were we even talking? Oh, wait, that's right. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, forget it. We'll get to it eventually. So, (laughs) so today, Mm -hmm, I think we're gonna be talking mm -hmm. about something that uh really grinds our Mm -hmm. gears. At least I don't know if it grinds your gears. If it doesn't, definitely does. Yeah, if it doesn't, then I mean, you're like, I guess you're the, you're just a one of a kind, and uh, you know, you're not very um, picky, I guess. Well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call this picky. I don't think picky is the right word for this. Like, if you see how some people are, I don't think picky is the right word for this. Yeah, maybe you just like live life on the edge or something. Yeah, yeah, you're just, I guess, fearless. Fearless, yeah, Could fearless is me. the right word because. Uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna be talking about a few things, but. First, mm-hmm. we're going to be covering uh, why I don't eat at everyone's house. Oh, my goodness. So, I, I, how, how do you I, feel I, I about think... uh, eating at people's houses that you're not familiar with? Yeah, no. If I don't know you or I've like <laughs> not actually seen you cook before, I'm probably not going to eat your cooking. You know. And, 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 uh, and why is that? Would you like to go into further detail on why you won't eat everyone's cooking? I mean, top of that list, some people be nasty as hell. Like, especially them people that like get way too comfortable with work ro- roaches. <laughs> Those people, the people that sleep <laughs> with the roaches. Little, yeah, just be a little too comfortable with roaches. Be like, oh, that's Jim. Be like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, you, you, you name the roaches. So, wow. Have, have you seen that guy? Oh my god, that reminds me of that one video. I think it was on TikTok or YouTube. There was uh, mm-hmm. it was this group of dudes, or was it just a picture? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure we have it somewhere. Oh, that group of dudes. They chilling in that dude's house. And yeah. He had, like, fucking trash everywhere. He had and then trash they got everywhere. They have their shoes off. Bro, they were way <laughs> too comfortable. Like, the couch was dirty. The walls was were dirty. Like, the yo. tables were dirty. Like, and, yeah, nah. like the, thing, the thing that bothered me the most is, like, do you understand how long you have to just not clean? For your walls to get dirty? Yeah. Like, you gotta be in there. You just yeah. gotta be one dirty... Um, I'm, I'm trying not to curse here. You have to be one dirty <laughs> individual to just have... Like, your, like your walls should not be yellow. There, there's no yeah. way your walls are yellow. Unless you're just in there I mean, just nasty or smoking. Like, if you have, like, somewhat, like, yellow paint that you already yeah, have I mean, I get... House, well, come on, you know that wasn't fine. paint. <laughs> we know yeah, that wasn't not, paint. It's not. That, that was definitely just... like year, like years of smoking. Because people like... get a house and they smoke, and the walls are fine for like a year or two. Oh, They'll still hold I up. I saw some lady that was like this. She's like, "Yeah, I've been living in this house for like fifteen years, and I've been smoking the entire time." She's like, "It's only a little bit of paint damage." This lady who does like house cleaning like walked in, and she was just like, "These walls were supposed to be white." They were like brown. Oh wait, was that the video? Oh, I'm thinking on a different video where um 
No, I think yeah, it was a guy that walked in. He was uh he was steam cleaning the walls. Yeah, there was another lady who did the exact same thing that like they had all oh, the exact so same bad. video. Yeah, it was, I was so just bad. Like, yo, y'all, nah, I don't know, different. Yeah, but it's like people like that that like do stuff like that, and it's just like sleeping with the rats. Oh, that too. Yeah, sorry to everybody that in New too. York. I know they're pretty much your neighbors. I don't want to offend you, but <laughs> you know, if you have rats and stuff just chilling in your house. On a couch, exactly. and you guys this are watching. Ain't ratatouille. Yeah. This ain't ratatouille. You ain't gonna be cooking with a uh, fucking Stewart. Like, nah. I feel like you walk nah. into an apartment in New York, and, and people just got the fucking the rats just on a couch. Man, they dapping the, the rats up. Like, hey, dead ass. Who, uh, who this man? <laughs> Whose man's this? They watching the NBA finals together and shit. Walk in the house like, why you got the rat on the couch? Who you talking to, B? For real, the rats start talking back. Or should I, say, I guess I guess squeaking back. They squeak, right? <laughs> I guess they start squeaking yeah. back at you. <laughs> but it's not. Uh, who yeah. you talking to? Who you talking to? Whose man's is this? Imagine a squeaks oh. have an accent. Imagine rats. <laughs> Imagine New York rats with an accent. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness! Just rats from like other places. Like, yeah, we don't we don't talk to them. They, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So there. basically, anyone in New York, the city specifically. Shit, upstate too. Y'all ain't safe. Yeah, pretty much anyone in New York as a whole, like you don't eat at their house. Damn. It's just, the yeah. question is, the whole, throw the whole state away. Who, the question is, who has the worst rats, Florida or uh, in or New York? That's the. I real mean, I, like, I don't know. I think I saw um one of those a chia rat. Well, that's not a chia rat. A nutria. Mm-hmm. Is it called a nutria rat? Yeah, the nutria. Yeah, the the, the big mean, ass nutria rats. Yeah, like you can they, fucking um, ride on top of them. <laughs> like they're clearly big enough to hold a toddler. <laughs> Them rats are huge, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that was like the the mini me of of Master Splinter just chilling in New York, walking across the streets. Like he like he was pretty much walking around. He owned the damn place. Like yeah, this is my oh, block. No. Showing a person around that was recording. So yeah, with the, that being said, I think that it has to go to New York. They're pretty much home up the rats. Fair, fair. fair, fair. Like I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty one. sure Florida got some some ghetto rats as well. But I think I think New York, unfortunately. Not even unfortunately, mm-hmm. they, they pretty much uh, the whole city has rats. Like they, they, there was a, I think someone posted in Discord, right, where they mm-hmm. was throwing trash bags at the rats in New York. <laughs> you remember that? Did you see yeah, it? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Oh my god! O- like only in New York would you ever see some dirty nonsense like that. Mm-hmm. Like he's literally fighting the rat. Like what do you? <laughs> like how are you fighting rats? Nah. How how do you ever end up in a situation where you're fighting rats? Like it, it, it is that, and it's like then I'll see like some of the people that just straight up stomp rats with boots on. I'm like, I've never seen that. Yeah, you gotta stomp the rats. Stomp, you gotta we gotta put I the boots on and just stomp on shit. I heard of stomping roaches, but I've never heard nobody stomping out rats. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, you have to. I mean, well, I, what I've heard from a reliable source is, uh-huh, uh, uh-huh, yeah, you put uh-huh. boots on and you do stomp them. <laughs> yeah, I heard that from a very reliable source. It might have been an inner source, but I did hear oh about uh, about rat stomping. It, it is a thing. It's I, I, it's basically see, thing is, whoever has the quickest feet. I wouldn't want to clean. Would clean that shit up. Like nah, nah. I'm and I also clean. heard from a reliable source within the rat stomping competitions, people would <laughs> um, jump from the bunk beds to catch the rat. Like it's pretty, it's pretty wild. I heard that from a, like a very reliable source. Yeah, very see, reliable. See, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to call the the rat stomper. <laughs> don't call him to come do it for me. <laughs> Three yeah. easy payments of 19.99 to stomp out my rat problem. I even heard from someone. He uh, don't bring no equipment, but his steel toe Tims. I even heard of someone uh, boiling a rat um, from a very reliable source, and uh, then I mean, uh, and then throwing it at the uh, the dude in the front desk. <laughs> from a, I heard that from a very reliable source, my inner source. <laughs> This is completely off topic, but you reminded me of that freaking guy who like deep fried his traffic ticket who lived in New York. Yo, wait, no, 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 no. Was that the, no, no, that that the guy in Chicago? I think so. He had like a whole series. He's like, yeah, no, no, he's Chicago. He's like, what you want me to do to the the ticket next? Yo, that's the guy, bro. I I used to watch the the heck out of his videos. (laughs) Um, what's his name? <laughs> M- Mr. Shy City. His name is Mr. Shy City. 
Yo, he is funny, man. He made a whole like series whole about uh series about that dang ticket parking ticket and then bro <laughs> i think the video that i got first like seen of his though was uh it was like mm. how to get any woman you want and this dude oh no no joke oh no no joke he had an entire fridge full of drinks and he was breaking down <laughs> how different women like different drinks yeah, this dude mm -hmm, <laughs> and like mm -hmm. th that shit was filled like it wasn't like Oh, he had a few drinks. No, from the top of his fridge to the bottom, and I mean the very bottom, like where, where the drawers the are. Food? He the food? okay. So his, his his explanation was: you got you got healthy people, so you had like waters. You got like mm -hmm. athletic people that was like you know watching their figure whatever. So you had like power raids, gator raids. Mm -hmm. For classy people, you had like snapples. The 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 uh the big girls, what he called them. He said they had like sodas, juices. He had everything. He had everything. He even has something for the kids. This man opened up his what? freezer and he like, yeah, when a little kid cock blocking you, you just hit the ass with a freeze pop. And this dude pulled out <laughs> freeze pops. Bro, he had <laughs> snacks, little Debbie cakes, chips. Oh, like he didn't have no food. This man, but he had a whole ass friend. Like, where's the food? <laughs> <laughs> Like, you don't got no food. Bro, I don't like, think he no. had any food in there, bro. I think it was literally all drinks. <laughs> yeah, oh that guy's. How do we even get on this topic? This is I, this I is what I'm know. talking about, bro. We were supposed but, to be but, talking about. Know, we're bringing it back in. The next list of people, a reason why I don't eat people's food. Uh, we got hood meals in general. Oh yeah, I mean, come on. I bro. recently saw one of like his older videos. I know you say he cleaned up a lot. I saw one of his recent. It was the fucking like. Uh, it was it was like fucking something. He had like leftover shrimp or some shit. And he threw like some cheese on it and made like a sandwich or something. It looks so gross. Oh my god, his kitchen made me so angry. He opened up that <laughs> fucking dirty ass air fryer. I was like, bro, what are you doing? Yo, I I, I like Hood Mills videos, man. Them shits are like to me, them nah. they're funny, bro. <laughs> I saw him like forever yeah. ago, and he was like, Yeah, we about to make this, this, and this. And then he was making some, he was making something, and he dropped the food on the floor, and his floor was nasty as shit. Did you see the toes? Back in the pan. Yes! Did you see and he put the <laughs> shit back in the fucking pan, and it turns around, his fucking fridge door Yo. falls off. Yeah. I'm like, what is this? Get this shit off my screen. <laughs> that shit had me angry. I was like, bro, I swear to God, if I... Ever. Like, I understand, you know, some people be busy and like your house don't want to be spotless when I come over. Like, I, at the end of the day, don't care. But if I come over to your house and it's dirty as shit like that, and you got like roaches, crawlers, I'm going home. Like, I, like I'm yeah. literally going to open the door and you're going to show me your house and I don't care if you drove me here. I'm walking home. Like, oh, shit, no, oh bro. my God. There's a difference between like having a messy house and having a dirty ass house. Like, fuck no. I see all of his videos videos bro them shits is funny man like the, the only thing i'm pretty like, at this point i'm pretty sure he just does it for content though because it bro there ain't no way like you really living like this man i feel like i feel like it's some, just content some people be some people be living like that because he well i know some people live like that but i'm pretty sure you know i'm pretty sure he, he's doing it just for content like, he I has to like now, live i can tell you now people live like that there was this lady i got paid to do it Cause like, um, I had like, we had like this family friend and they were like, yeah, bro, we need your help. We're gonna go clean this lady's house and she's gonna pay you like $200. I was like, Hey, okay. I went, bro. We were there all day. Yeah. All I mean, I, I know people live like that. I, I walked into someone's house like that too. Her house was, bro, I shit you not. There was a point we had to change out the mop water and I dunked the mop into the water after we mopped a single portion of the floor. And the water turned to black immediately. Ugh. That is how bad it was. Was she old? <laughs> she was old, but she was like, she could still get around. And she had like a bunch of dogs who fucking, oh my God. She had like, I don't fucking know. She was kind of nasty. Like she could still move around and stuff. Like she was old, but she wasn't like old, old. 
Dang, so she can know. still clean and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. I'm like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't, don't know what she I don't know what she had going on. I'm like, yo, this house is fucking disgusting. Yeah, if, if you're old, you kinda have an excuse. Like if you're just like old and you, you know, you kind of really don't want to do anything or just can't do anything, then I mean, you know, it's yeah. with, you you have a pass. Unless you're a hoarder, then that no, you don't get a yep. pass. I like, walked into a hoarder's house one time. Nope. And <laughs> like literally, uh you know, I walked in. I think it was her sister there, and she mm. was like, "Yeah, she keeps everything. We've been trying to get her to throw it away for the longest time now, but she doesn't want to get rid of it, bro." There were rooms that had just—it didn't even look like valuable stuff. It was literally just junk. Like it, it just oh looked God. like junk. And I'm like, "What is?" I just walked out, bro. I was like, "I'm not doing this." Today. Yeah. Like it, it was just nasty. Like it didn't some look clean. Like- it was just nasty. And it was just. So- them i'll see i'm just like why like there's like there's two situations i saw they had like one hoarder who she like her house was so full that she couldn't let her dogs outside so they would just shit and pee all over the fucking floor i'm like so first off you already know her house smell like ass there was another lady who was like fucking keeping poop i'm like what are you doing wait 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 what yes she was like fucking keeping poop or something. But where, for like, some out fucking open? reason? It was on one of the hoarder shows that's on fucking like TLC or some shit. Like, was it just out in the like, open though? She had it in like like I mason like jars. Hopefully, be, I feel like it would be more like it, it's still not excusable, but it'd be more excusable if they were in like a, if they were like out in the open. But no, no, she had them like in containers and shit like that. I'm like, yo, what at least the at least fuck? she can't smell it though. No, they didn't smell them. They're in containers. Like oh, they weren't like shit. airtight containers. Oh, I'm just like, shit. yo, what are you doing? Yeah, that's like disgusting. they literally had the, they literally had to call fucking um the not the, the fucking what was it? I forgot what it's freaking called. For what? Children? Hazmat. They had to call Hazmat. Hazmat? Yes. That is how bad it was. They had to call Hazmat to come clean out her house. That's no, that's just nasty. Yeah. I'm like, and that's that, that's another reason to stack on top of that. And then like, oh my good, there's this new one that I heard like recently about like another reason why I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm nah, nah. What? First off, I'm gonna tell you right now. If I go to your house and I've like just met you, especially if it's like some girl and we're kind of talking, and the first thing you making me is spaghetti, I'm immediately side eyeing you. Wait, 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 hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's wrong with spaghetti? So this is new thing I heard about. I did not know this was Ajax? a thing. No, 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 no. This was a new thing I heard about. Just floating around on TikTok and like I saw on Facebook a couple of times where apparently some of these girls will make like fucking spaghetti for like whoever this guy that they This like. better not be where I think it's going. And they put their period blood That's all I was thinking. It's as, no, like, no, as like a no, witchcraft thing no, to make them fall no, in love with them no, so they won't no. leave. See, now, you, now you're making me not want to eat spaghetti, bro. <laughs> now you're making me not want to eat like spaghetti. spaghetti. But like, if I don't know you like that, and you making me spaghetti, nah, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking like, huh, you know, maybe they're putting like some sprinkles, sprinkles of death. Nope. Yeah, no, nah, that's just nasty. Nope, they're doing that. That's it's nasty. like a freak. It's like a witchcraft thing. Where bro, they, like, what side of TikTok are them. you on, bro? I don't know. I don't know how I got there. Bro, I've but never I seen seeing it. Like, like the one video I saw that like just stuck in my head was like it was like this girl just like whenever whenever you uh, got the guy over you like and you and he won't eat the spaghetti. She's like, damn, just eat the fucking spaghetti. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, oh, y'all. I was like. Okay, that's fucking weird. So I did like a deep dive trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. I'm scrolling through the comments, and someone was like, "Yeah, this, this, this." I was like, "Oh, y'all are wild!" Oh, no, yeah. hey, I know some people take that stuff seriously though, like that witchcraft stuff. Yeah, they like, take that stuff like, seriously. I mean, like it's fine, like Jesus, but I don't like do shit like that. Like, yeah, I, I mean, no, what? I'm not saying it's weird. I'm just saying like people take yeah. that shit like to heart. Like yeah, all the way to definitely serious. Like it's definitely serious. It's just like yeah, if you're doing like, creepy don't, shit don't, like don't, that, though. I mean, creepy yeah, stuff. Excuse- no, damn, I gotta start. <laughs> My bad. Man, man, fuck it. I don't give a shit. You know, I'm fuck it. I ain't censoring myself, man. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Can't even talk normal. My bad. Damn, man, fuck it. 
anyways <laughs> anyways yeah all right I, i'm trying to stop cursing man but that 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 shit is just that's hard as fuck it's hard. Man. it's hard it's very hard i curse like a sailor like i, I can tone it down a little it's bit it's an but accident like, too yeah, like it just but... slips out oh 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 i'm gonna yeah, get better man i'm gonna get better guys i'm gonna get better we'll get we'll, be, we'll get better eventually but you know we got the spaghetti thing. Then we got the other one. Is like people who have their pets on the counter. Like, Ooh, I don't have that gets on like, my nerves. See, I don't have problems with like you know having like your pets and shit on the counter. But if you're cooking, like yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> like I mean, like if you're not cooking or it's like you know it's whatever. But like it's like i'm personally not gonna do it because like you know cats be cats be like all in types of shit they be licking cats be ass eating ass bro like <laughs> yeah and it's like and then they like all up on the counter like i don't have prop like i'm not gonna do it in the kitchen like if it's in the kitchen nah anywhere else i don't give a fuck like you can do it if you want but and i don't really have a problem with it but if you're actively cooking like that freaking picture or that video i showed you like this lady cooking like something for like a potluck for freaking work or something oh like that and this she has her cat like just on the counter and his tail's like Bro, all up in the food and i just laying saw all one the food. i saw one that was like that there was this lady and you guys can obviously guess you don't even have to ask <laughs> She was like, like straight up. She was, <laughs> yeah, you know, she was literally like, she's cooking some food and mm. randomly like throughout her meal thing. I almost wanted to turn it off the first time, but I had like, I was so committed to see if she kept doing this nasty behavior. Mm. So oh, she was like no. cooking and she would like take a little bit of the food, put it in her hand. Cause like her dog was just standing there and she would like let the dog like lick it out of her hand and then she'd go mm. back in and keep cooking it like with the same hand. Oh like my mind you, she's like mixing shit up. Like what are you doing? You putting your dog's fucking mouth I, I, in the food. Like you're, you're basically <sighs> sharing food with your dog. Like what are you doing, bro? You just reminded me of a fucking TikTok story. It was some girl. It was one of the story. It wasn't like why I don't eat at people's house story. It was like why is like why did you leave like so and so sleeping party when you were younger stories she said she went to this like this like this is just adding on like once again why i don't eat at everybody's house this lady <laughs> she said she was at so and so's uh uh sleepover son and they got there and they were making food and you know everybody ate up all the food and everything like that and you know they're like clean they like leave all the plates on the table and like the lady just lets like her dogs hop up on the table no and eat all the leftovers no no, no no it gets worse it gets worse it gets worse her dogs like drop on the table eating up all leftovers off the table like lick the plates clean and that's shit. nasty and this lady picks up all the plates and puts them back in the cabinet nah dude and I quote what she says when the girl's looking at her crazy. She's like, dogs are really clean animals. They have really clean mouths. So Absolutely it's better not. than washing them. I was like, wait, Yo! wait, 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 what? Yes. Excuse me? She would literally let the dogs lick the plates clean and then put them back in the no. cabinet without washing no. them. No, no. No. <laughs> no. 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 Like, like no. no dishwasher? No. No. No, no hand cleaning? A, nothing? No. Straight back in the cabinet. No soap? No hot water? Nope. Nothing? Right back in the cabinet. Because oh, our uh, dogs no. are clean creatures. Hell you know, they be no. licking their balls and shit. They lick it. Yeah, go dogs off. lick everything. <laughs> I don't eat their own poop. Like, what are you talking? Bro, I about, don't lady? give a. I don't look. I don't give a damn what the fuck people say about um things. dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. They be licking their dogs' mouth and shit. Look, you nah. a weirdo, first of all, and <laughs> two, I don't give a fuck if the dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. Like that shit nasty, bro. Put some soap yeah. on your freaking dishes. Uh I'm like, yo, nah. I don't care what anybody says. If I would have been over there, I'm like, I had to fold everybody in the house. Everybody. Yeah, we fighting. 
baby upstairs got to get knocked out. Grandma got to get knocked out. I'm digging up grandpa in the backyard and I'm folding his whole body. Everybody folding his bones, bro. Me. Yep, folding his bones. Everybody in the house, the dog especially. Oh, like, yeah, the dog got to like, get like, it. Like, you know what's going on. You didn't warn me, homie. Like, what, yeah, what's facts, this? Not, what's a, not, this? A, not a dog. The dog nah. got to run that fade. But everybody in the house about to be unconscious. Because the, the dog knew what he was doing. Dog knew what he was doing. He should have barked. When he saw me trying mm -hmm. to eat up the plates, he should have barked. But hey, man, I wouldn't eat that. That's <laughs> I nasty. Wouldn't eat that. <laughs> Not at all. It, oh my god! I, like I don't understand. I don't understand. And then the worst one of them all. The worst one of them all. People just can't fucking cook. Accurate. <laughs> like no. Let me talk about yeah. The, the ones that got on my nerves the most. The ones that got on my nerves the fucking most, I'd be like, yeah, if you got the expensive meat, you don't need to season it. It's going to take oh, away from yeah, the flavor no. of the meat. I'm no. like, oh, just say you can't cook. <clears throat> but, like, just tell me you can't cook. I feel like I feel like some of them, well, a lot of them probably can't cook. But um, some people, I don't, I don't know where the heck that came from. But uh, that shit does not no, taste it's not true. good. <laughs> like, it doesn't. Like, you, you, seasoning need seasoning. Well, like, you, you don't, you don't need seasoning. I guess if you have certain taste buds, I guess you don't need seasoning because uh, certain yeah, people like, think um, everything <laughs> is spicy. I, like, like at the end of the day, I'm not eating boiled chicken or fucking uh, practically. Uh, oh, oh, excuse me, or seared steak where they are just like you know seared on that, both see, sides. See, I, I feel it, like that no one seasoning on it. I don't care what anyone says. That one gets on my nerves. Like that—that's like the weirdest thing that that I've ever heard people say. Like the the thing is, like if you can't cook, you know, like you just can't cook. But don't be mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, you know, this is the only way to make the steak juicy. No, you you probably no. just can't cook. <laughs> you can't like cook. that's what it comes down. Majority to. <laughs> of the times, I cook my steak. Usually all the way through, I might have a little bit of red, maybe mm. sometimes, depending on how lazy I'm feeling that day. But not once, not once has my steak ever came out dry. It's exactly. never like it's never been dry. It it cuts extremely easy, like like I mean super easy. Like I, I might not be able to cut it with the fork, but like you can take a knife, put no pressure on it, and it'll slide right across. It, it basically yeah, glides exactly. right across. Of course, I can't just scoop it out with a spoon because I'm not eating jello filled steak because you didn't cook it. Like, that's the only reason yours is cutting like that because you didn't cook it. It's a big difference. It's not juicy. It's just not cooked. Your steak oh is gosh. not juicy. It's not cooked. Mm -hmm. That's why. Like, exactly. it's literally, like, you're just oh. releasing the, excuse me, the juice from the steak that was in there, the water, whatever it's the fuck, not, because you didn't blood. cook it. <laughs> it's blood. That's what it is. <laughs> you just didn't fucking, you just didn't cook your food. I, I don't understand. Like, learn how to cook. Like, see, like, I can understand, you know, getting, like, medium rare. Like, I can understand, like, medium rare, maybe medium. But, like, some of these people, I'm just like, bro, just eat the raw steak. <laughs> like, I don't, just, just eat the raw steak. That, that, like, that's what you obviously want to do. Yeah, there was this dude I used to know. Um, We were, like... Uh, it was like when we were, everyone was like grilling outside and stuff. Have like uh, mm. those big gathering things, barbecues, or whatever. And there was this yeah, one guy I specifically remember. Every time he would come over with his steak, and he would have like really decent sized pieces of steak, mm. and uh, he'd wait for the grill to get hot. You know, obviously, once the grill's hot, he'll take his steak, he'll put it on the grill. I kid you not. For maybe 30 seconds. He'd flip it, put it for like 30 more seconds or like a minute, however long it takes to just like literally just to put a line on it. He just wanted the lines. Oh and then he'd take it off and he'd eat it. I'd be looking at him like, hey, bro, ain't no way, bro. Like, I like, I wouldn't, like, like, I wouldn't I said, eat next to him. I would, I, I would just take my food and go somewhere else. I'm like, I'm not watching this. I'm not about to watch like you I eat said, raw steak, bro. Like I said, just take it out the pack and eat it. That, that's obviously what some, what some of these people want to do. Like, bro. Like, speaking what are you of that, doing? speaking of taking it out the pack and just eating it, have you mm -hmm. seen? Have you seen that um that trend that was happening on TikTok with uh? It was like some trend that was like, tell me the strangest food you've eaten or like the weirdest food you've eaten. You've seen that trend before? Mm-mm. 
All right. Anyways, there was this one lady where, no. mm-hmm. okay, she was talking about, oh, you guys are probably going to give me looks or whatever. So this was the nastiest shit I've ever heard in my fucking life. And of course, you know, yes, yes, she was. Um, she was talking about something her family eats and she was eating raw. Mm-hmm. She was describing herself eating raw ground beef. I don't mean cooked. I don't mean thrown in the pan for a little bit. I'm talking about opening the pack, eating raw ground beef. That is how you get E. coli. Like, just straight and up. She was trying so hard to justify it to the point where people were like, yeah, you're lying. No one eats raw ground beef. Nope. The next TikTok, Unless she was like, want E. coli. The next TikTok, she's like, yeah, um, I don't know why you guys thought I was joking. We've been doing this in our family for a really long time. She, like, takes the ground beef out. She rolls it up like a little ball, and she just starts eating it. And the whole TikTok was just her eating it, swallowing the, the ground beef. And I'm like, yo, this is, this is disgusting. What is wrong with people? I'm going to find that TikTok after this. I'm like posting in the Discord. Oh, yeah. If <laughs> like you guys want to see the, uh, the stuff we talk about that we're going to be posting, you can click the link in the description to take it to the Discord. Yeah. And we'll post like the pictures we're talking about and like the videos we're talking about in the podcast photo. Yeah, 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 exactly. Mm-hmm. What were you saying though? But like, that's how you get E. coli. Like straight up. Like, lady, like that shit can literally kill you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. She said her family was fine, but that shit's still nasty, bro. I'm not trying it. No, not at all. I'm, I'm not good. trying that shit. I'm good. That's just a waste of ground beef. And I bet you she ain't put no seasonings on it. And what? Oh, man, speaking of those seasonings and the uh, the flavor of the meat people, I've seen people that also, I think the people that say stuff is just, it's too dry when you cook it. They just can't cook because yeah. they were talking about um, chicken breast and how chicken breast is dry. And the only time I've ever had dry chicken breast is when I cooked it wrong. <laughs> like, yeah. when I, like when I tried to cook it too fast. If you try to cook chicken breast too fast, it's gonna be nasty. Yeah, and I dry. mean, like if you really just want it done, just throw it on George Foreman, some seasonings, and bro, yeah, even perfect. George Foreman won't make it dry. Like you can put that chicken on the George long Foreman. Grill. You have to put chicken on the George Foreman for it shit to be dry. <laughs> yeah, you have to like, and most of the George Foremans have a light on it. Like, hey, it's done. Exactly. <laughs> like, at least the newer ones, the older one we had actually didn't have a light on it. Oh, yeah, the super old ones? No. <laughs> yeah, no, we had a super old one that finally, well, it wasn't broken, but it was, like, kind of broken. Cause Them bitches just last forever. Broken on it. <laughs> Them shits last have, forever. Bro, we had that thing. I think we've literally had that thing since I was, like, 10. God damn. Yes, like we've had that thing for forever. The only reason we threw it away, like literally one of the hinges on the back was broken. The only reason we threw it away is because one of the freaking um, slabs stopped heating. Jesus. Like that is the only reason it got thrown out. That's that a thing. long time, bro. <laughs> it lasted <laughs> for forever. <laughs> Holy like, crap. I don't think I've ever had anything that long. Yeah, they're gonna have throwing a, everything in the trash. That's about to have a tendency of throwing stuff away, though. Right? Yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh my God! You just remind, speaking of chicken, this adds another thing. Another thing to this very long list of why I don't eat people in the house. People who swear, who swear, medium rare chicken is a thing. Oh yeah, yeah, no. What's it called? Blue chicken? Blue chicken? Something is that what like they call that. it? I'm just Blue like, chicken? I'm like. Or I'm like, this is not a thing. Like, this isn't a thing. This is how you get fucking salmonella. What are you talking about, medium rare chicken? Have you seen that lady put the chicken in the microwave? You see that video? No, no I remember <laughs> you telling me about it though, and I'm just like, bruh, yo, bruh. Nah, like, like, nah. What are you uh, doing? The only acceptable thing to put in the microwave is shrimp. That shit busting. Nah, we we're not starting on this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we not starting on no microwave shrimp, <laughs> bro. You actually, you should put that in the. You should put that in Discord too. You fucking microwaving shrimp, because that that I feel like that shit is sinful. No, it's fine. No, like I that said, shit's nasty. You just gotta make sure 
The shrimp is raw for and frozen. You put your seasonings with it in a bowl with a big old dab of butter, and you put it in the microwave for like four minutes. No, fuck that. That's just nasty. <laughs> I, I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> nah, bro. Like I, I like I feel like I got like shrimp, but I'm not trying that, bro. Oh, okay, but. I got you, fam. I'll make some for you. Nah, yeah. I'm straight. But uh, I, before I forget again, we got to do the intro. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, we never for, we never remember to do the intro at the beginning. Man, whatever. We, as long as we get an intro in there somewhere, we're good. Yep. And there's somewheres. Yeah, exactly. So what's going on, everyone? Welcome to the Void Yard, where we just make up topics as we go. It's Boney with the co-host, Literal Demon. Say what's up. Gabagoo. Yeah. And shout out to anyone that even made it this far in the podcast. If you did, comment um, Gabagoo, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and gabagoo. thank you for tuning in. If you're watching on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Google, and, you know, one day Apple will accept us. They really just don't <laughs> like us. But, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get back to uh, what we were talking about, which I yeah. already forgot what we were talking about because my memory's trash. Well, Rip, sounds like we're going to the next topic. Hey, goldfish memory makes people <laughs> move on. So, uh... <laughs> Man, you know what's crazy? Mm. We keep bringing up. I feel like everything that we said about mm. um why we don't eat at everyone's house, I yeah. feel like uh, it had something to do, or not something to do, but it had a TikTok video relevant towards whatever we were talking about. There was a TikTok yeah. video to describe what we were talking about. And I yeah, feel like TikTok is probably the biggest distraction of 2020 <sighs> onward. Like, I know it, it came really out is. before that, but I feel like TikTok mm -hmm. literally has um, probably destroyed productivity, um, destroyed my life. Uh, <laughs> it destroyed everything I wanted to do, um, destroyed my motivation. Like, I know you see it's motivation so videos bad. on TikTok and stuff, but it don't motivate me. It just mm -hmm. motivate me to do nothing but watch more TikTok. Um, <laughs> TikTok so is literally bad. TikTok so bad for you, bro. It is because like I'm like yeah okay let me watch like two more videos and I'll be productive and the next thing I know like eight hours has gone by and exactly I'm like, and the worst part is that eight hours will literally go by so freaking fast it really will like the eight hours feel like maybe an hour of time the only way that TikTok can make it even worse. To make like me stay on the app even longer, you know how I think it's Insta that has it where it like auto goes to the next video. What? If they, I think so. It's like I that's think the reels. Yeah, I think reels like it'll just roll to the next video. I'm like, bro, if y'all did that, the it's over. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't even know uh, Instagram did that. I got found out about. I just found out about the reels like maybe. What did you tell me about like two weeks ago? Maybe. Something like you that. You tell me about the reels. I didn't even know they had reels. Yep, they got them. They're only 30 seconds, though. But, like, I think they auto-freaking-scroll. I would. Well, like I said. I, I, I can't freaking, do that. Yeah, nah. If TikTok added that as an, as an option. You would like, never get off. Exactly. <laughs> like. <laughs> like. Uh, literally, oh the only God. reason, like, some, like, it's not all the time, of course, but the only reason some days that I get off of TikTok is because I'll see a video and I'm like, haha, that was funny. I'll pause the video and I'll close the app. So if <laughs> that motherfucker just kept rolling through videos, yep. and because if the next video is somewhat entertaining or if it catches my mm -hmm. interest, which usually on the For You page, because they do a really good job at doing it because their freaking algorithm is just, it's just designed to keep you on the app for as it long really as is. humanly possible. And you know, most of the videos I walk by, I'm like, oh, that was that's pretty interesting. And I'll keep exactly. watching it. If that thing was automatically scrolling through, I'd get even less work done. Dude, you don't even know. Like, you be looking at, like, ha-ha funny videos, and, like, the algorithm just senses you're about to close. And they're like, hey, hey, big dog, we got some thickness on the screen. You'd be like, oh, 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 no. Oh, like, well, yeah. We that's can't my even, next, That's man. my next four hours. <laughs> we can't even talk about the, the, the thickness on the screen. When the thickness pops up in the thing, man, shh. I swear, I'm determined. Like, I start sweating, and I need to go outside and touch grass. 
Like there's certain people you just start seeing like I gotta go I, like, I gotta go touch grass, bro. God Somebody damn. this man talk about lean beef patty. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, hey, hey, we don't we don't we don't give specifics here. <laughs> oh, okay. That's crazy. We don't, no need to give specifics. <laughs> but yes, uh, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to be specific, I guess so. <laughs> God damn! I mean, like they're like on TikTok. There are several, man. There are several. There's, there are several. Several, are like several. like several hundreds, and several There's people several that I probably hundreds. haven't even seen yet. <laughs> but even even That's outside fun. of the thickness, though, it's like, oh, come on, man! Like There's they actually have genuinely content yeah, on there. And it makes have, you want to just keep watching it. Like I, you see people that are like like some like I mean like some really 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 talented people on TikTok. Like there's people mm -hmm. that play like the drums and stuff or like uh just any instruments like the saxophone, mm -hmm. specifically the drums. The ones I see the most are usually drummers. And man, they be it be turning yeah, out thing. Oh. I actually don't see a lot of people playing sax. I've only seen like maybe two people yeah i was gonna say yeah, i only seen about two people as well two maybe three. which is there was like this one um asian girl that's on there i don't remember what her name is i followed her though because like dear god bro she was tearing that bitch oh yeah it kind of sucks though man because i actually like uh street entertainment like people that are like outside on the streets you know yeah, playing their music freaking, um there's a group that does that um too many zoos they specifically perform like out on the streets and on the freaking subway in new york Man, wait, wait, wait. Is that the guy that, that has like the saxophone is playing really enthusiastically? Yeah, he has the berry sax. He's like the big Yeah, 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 yeah. He's he they're super good. Thing. They're super good. That's their whole I thing. Love their most music. Of their, yeah, most of their stuff is they record they like play they do their like um actual concerts like either like on the subway itself or they're like down just on the street somewhere playing i was like that's cool man speaking of uh music man you know what's really weird like some hmm. songs like i don't i don't ever hear the saxophone very often you don't it's really weird because like the saxophone is like one of the it's one of my favorite instruments to listen to like it man it makes some really you can make some really good sounds with freaking saxophone yeah and i, I never crazy. understood like why it just for some reason doesn't really pop up in music very often or at least maybe I'm not hearing the right stuff. So I guess if you if you know songs with the saxophone and don't put no trash, because if you put some <laughs> trash recommended, <laughs> chances are you're gonna go on the blacklist of uh, never taking your opinion again. Damn. So uh, please leave some good music. I mean, there's that um, there was that song that's like super fucking that was popular on TikTok for a while. Tato. Oh, beautiful, bro. That yeah. that is amazing. That song right there is amazing, bro. I had, right, I, I right had there. that song on so long, I hated it. Like, <laughs> I, I played it so much that I just began. I love the song, but I played this up. Like, right now, I mm. listen to it. But back then, I played it so much that I, I, I began to hate the song. And I probably Damn. deleted it from my playlist. <laughs> Damn, it's on my Good Vibes playlist. Bro, like, like, I don't know why I do that. I have a really bad tendency of... Uh, playing a song 2,000 times and I get mad that it's on and I end up deleting yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I've been there. I have a really bad habit of doing that. Like, like, I have another thing what I'll do is like, I like I, the thing is, I won't get freaking tired of it. I'll just play it so long that I'll eventually just be like, okay, you know what? Let me turn this off before I actually get tired of this nope. song. Nope, I, I don't have that restraint. <laughs> like that uh that Sam Henshaw song? What was it? Which one is it? Which one is it, man? Which one is it? Oh, broke. Yeah, oh, yeah, broke. Yes, yeah. broke specifically. I played it so often that I knew all the words to the song. Like I could sing it any any mm -hmm. part in the song, listen to it so many times. And I was just like, yeah, you just know what? Music. I was like, you know what? I need to turn this shit off. And then I moved <laughs> to his other song. What is it called? I think it's called like All Good. And I played that one out until Something I just, like I just, huh? Something like that. You think it's called? It's like I'm all good, baby. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. No, all good's a different guy. That's um, he was on TikTok too. Hold on, what is his fucking name? Is it? I have one of. His, yeah, it's a guy on TikTok. His name. Um, Sam Pastor has good. an all good song too, though. Uh, Ty Verdes, I think. I think I don't know. No, all good's song. definitely by Ty Sam Henshaw, bro. 
don't know. Let me let me Your check. Cause now, now is maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm going crazy. Let me let me check YouTube real quick. <laughs> Him and Ty Verde, um, Verdes, however you pronounce his Oops. name, have like a similar style. He's the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bro, look at it. Look how tight this is. It's right here in my my search history. Oh my <laughs> broke and yeah, broke in all goods. Like right there. <laughs> I played these songs, song, or I like, played damn. these songs. Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, as you can see, these shots as well. I watched several videos of the all goods. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> bro! I was listening to that song so much, man. Well, excuse me, those songs so much that I hate. What's the other guy's name? What's the other guy's name? Jacoby. Oh my! Oh my God. Jacoby goodness! Jacoby is great. <clears throat> specifically, specifically, Jacoby's couch potato. Couch potato, so fucking good. Couch, couch potato. potato. Oh God, my God, that, bro! That that, that like that fun. song, bro. That's another one of those was on repeat. Yeah, it was like Couch Potato. There's that other song. I don't remember who it was by off the top of my head. Freaking Tuxedo. Oh, yeah. Yes. Who sings that? Hold on. It's on my playlist. Let me see. The Do It. It's tux like Do It. Uh, yeah, it's, tux do, it's it. do It by Tuxedo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do It by Tuxedo. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, my God. Yo, that I got to add again. these songs back to my playlist, bro, because those were like, <laughs> now that I'm like, <laughs> now that it's been a few <laughs> months. Song is just, they're so good. They're, they're oh, super God. catchy. Man, actually, they're man, really you know what? Catchy. Before I forget, uh -huh. if, you're, if, you, if you're still here for some reason, let me know your favorite song. <laughs> The, don't forget the saxophone thing unless you already commented. Let me know your favorite song. We, I need, well, not we. I need a new music that I'm gonna burn out to. And if it's burnout worthy, um, I guess uh, I'll send you a cookie to your PO box. Mm -hmm. I'll give you cookie. Yeah, damn. old cookie baked by uh, yours truly, me. Oh shit. Okay, I probably won't send bake it. I probably just send you a whole cookie. <laughs> It'll just be a raw ass cookie coming to you. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, tuxedo. What's that? What's the song with the uh the the, the purple? It's like a, it's like animated carts. It's like an animated thing on YouTube. Uh, they're like drawing. Oh, oh, Animation oh, is amazing. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, uh, what's the name of it? What is it? What is it? What's the name of it? It's gonna. It's gonna. June. It's June. My... It's by June. It's called. Oh man, what is it called? Oh, this is gonna bother me. It's no YouTube it. Playlist. I bet it'll pop up if I YouTube it. <laughs> Let me see. A little messed up. Yeah, right there. <laughs> yeah. Another good song. A little another messed up. Song. Another really good song. Man, honestly, we... June hey, just look. makes a lot of good music. They have a new. They have a. Uh, they had a new freaking song come out not too long ago that I was just like, yo. We are here giving me. out all the sauce to these good songs, man. I mean, like, we gotta let people know about the good yo, bro, music. You know what? You know what that just reminded me of? About us giving uh, out all the good sauce? Mm. You know what? You know what really gets on my nerves? And what? we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about this too in depth because it's gonna be like the, uh, topic for a different day which we might yeah. have a guest star for oh, this shoot. is one of my biggest pet peeves <clears throat> so here's a little hint for you guys anyone that like gate keeps music people that gatekeep that. music food just just anything in general that's like i don't understand why they do it because like it's, you're not helping anyone yeah. like if you really support the business, why would you not share it? Yeah, yeah. I, I Especially don't, I if it's like a small business. One. Yeah, I, I don't understand that one that much either. That's like, so you're weird. Just like, like, yeah, I, I want to keep this to myself. Yeah, so like, oh, I, I can't like, tell nobody about this. Yeah, I can't tell nobody about this guy. Keep it myself. Like, I, I can understand like some situations because, like, you know, people, people be fuck, people be fuck. <laughs> People be fucking shit up. Like that's literally just how it come down sometimes. Like I mean, some people is, fuck stuff up, but like small businesses though. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, not in a situation like small businesses. Like, and, and especially like with music. I don't understand why people get keep music either. It's just like, like, like you they're, you they're, want your the, artists the to be people? successful, but uh, uh, you know, you're not sharing yeah. your music. Like, what are you talking about, bro? They're the same people that like be like they'll gatekeep music and be like, 
like yeah i, I listened to them when they were like real young this this yeah and this. Like, bro oh people like, like that they're like who put you on to that bro who put you on to that i've listened like, to them since 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 oh nine like no one cares dude yeah like i heard about yes, them when they were good. on soundcloud like all right congratulations like, okay okay you didn't tell me about it shut yeah, up i remember this i remember this one time where uh before mm. my video got taken down on tiktok when i made the um the dog nigga video i made the <laughs> I that. yeah i made the dog nigga video and mm. i guess dog nigga was around for a while like mm. i guess like a few years and then just blew up this year and then someone yeah. comments and he was like, "Man, you t you people on TikTok are always so late to everything, like, and you gotta ruin it." I'm like, "How is sharing a book ruining it? Like, what are you talking about?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What do you mean, dude?" Yeah, like, that oh no, not <laughs> like not me oh, uh, no. sharing a book. People are gonna actually support this now, and the author will actually have some support. And you know what's funny? Maybe some money to keep playing. And you know what's funny? Like a month after, like the book sold out. Exactly. Oh like, no, to, oh, we contribute. We contributed to uh helping someone get sales. Oh no, like sorry. Oh, no, that's crazy. Like, what do you mean? Like the video, like the video oh. blew up. That shit, that shit, like blew up. <laughs> it really like did. instantly, like hundred k views, like instantly. I was like, God oh, damn. Man. And then uh, TikTok had to stop me because they didn't want to see me shine. Damn. <laughs> I hate that. It's so that's crazy. My, that's like my freaking voice acting video I did for the freaking egg one. Like, bro, that thing had so many views in like an hour. They're like, "Up, oh, those eggs look like boobs." We're by, we're uh, we're deleting the video. Well, the dumbest part about it was that like uh, I went to go search for the book, and mm -hmm. there were so many people with the video. <clears throat> They're like, never like mind, never mind, there never was mind. a whole bunch of people <laughs> that had. <laughs> nah, you might as well say it now. You might as well like, say it. One too many niggas. One too many. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and TikTok, man, I was, I'm not gonna lie. Some of the people I did see posted weren't, mm. <clears throat> uh, you know, <clears throat> <clears throat> they weren't even allowed to read the book title. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I mean, let's just say that. But yeah, wh whatever, man. TikTok didn't want to see me shine. It's whatever. <clears throat> fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. Too fuck many. TikTok. Get him out of here. Fuck TikTok. <clears throat> well, I can't say fuck TikTok because TikTok is great. How about how about how much you can actually learn on TikTok though? Bro, there's I learned shit on there that I didn't even know. TikTok's education like constantly. Like there's like like the amount of times that they've been like, yeah, did you know you could do this? And I'm just like. Oh, okay. No. Look, some stuff. Like, no. <laughs> some stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Like some stuff. Um, it's not uh, educational. Like uh, there, there, there was a uh, what's that guy's name that made a video? I think you know who he is. He uh, he has like a mm. mustache. I think he has like dreads or something. Light skinned dude. Uh, he made a video about. Uh, let me see a popular one that was um, coffee. I think coffee in a, fr in a freezer. Starbucks coffee. Like the mochas in the glass bottles. Oh yeah, well like, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Just drink those shit. So I did not know. I did not know that they're you're supposed to put them like in the freezer to like yeah. um to like you know actually make a frappuccino. Yeah, so you know I'm talking about that guy, right? <clears throat> yeah, I had no idea. So you were that shit. <laughs> he posted a video about uh there there was a lady that mm. I guess she got some. Some Mexican street tacos. Oh no. And uh she's eating these 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 tacos. And you know how uh they come with two tortillas? Mm. So <clears throat> it was one of those uh you've been eating them, you're eating them wrong your whole life or whatever. Oh no. And she is like she's sitting there eating her tacos and I'm pretty sure mm. she was shaking them because I've never had, you know, that many taco droppings fall out when I'm eating a taco. Oh, the funny thing. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I actually been eating tacos like that. Yeah. Like it dawned on me one day. I was like, wait, I could just put the other tortilla under this, even though I don't spill it. Okay, sometimes I'm not gonna lie, I be spilling a lot of shit on my tortilla. I don't ever spill it. I just I the only reason I like sometimes it happens because I be putting too much shit in my tortilla sometimes. Yeah, but that doesn't I'm happen like, yeah. 
that and then put a whole bunch of sour cream and all this bullshit on top of it. That doesn't happen at uh, regular no, no. street vendors, though, you know? Yeah, the regular street tacos, that's not happening. Like, tacos you made at home, that's probably going to happen. Yeah, that's different. It doesn't count. But, um, yeah, she was like, uh, yeah, the second taco is actually, you know, to catch the the stuff that falls out of the first taco. <clears throat> and which is it, it's not true it's completely untrue but um so he's sitting there watching the video he's like he's like you know what that's actually a really smart idea but mm-hmm. i can't say that i uh i agree with the source that it's coming from <laughs> 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 and before you ask, Damn. yes, yes, she was. Like, she probably... yes. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I, I, I started thinking, so I was like, you know what? You're right, because <laughs> uh, I don't trust it either now. <laughs> but but you know how that is, though. Like, let's say you uh. I understand what he's saying because, like, if I go to a place like, say, a hibachi store, like the mm-hmm. hibachi restaurants, and and you know, if, if I see a, if I see a black dude pull up at my hibachi restaurant, my hibachi table, you know, and he's the chef, I'm gonna feel like I got scammed. <laughs> like, like I ain't gonna, like I better have an Asian person in from cooking my shit up, bro. Like I don't want no dude to walk up to my table if you ain't Asian, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like get up, get up on my face, man. <laughs> Go to a different table, please. I'm trying to have that shit busting. Yeah, like if I go to man. an Asian place, I want Asians cooking my food. If I go man, to a cool. black person place, I mm. want black people cooking my food. If I go to yeah. a never mind. But um, <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying before I start getting out of control? Man, but speaking <laughs> of people whose opinions I don't trust, I don't care what anybody says. If I go to your house and you're fucking, your air conditioning, your air conditioning is on 78 degrees, I'm leaving because your house oh, is on yeah, fire. Oh, no, yeah, no. Okay, I look. Don't like that. People that have any temperature above, mm. let me see. So this is about thermostats, if you're confused. This is about thermostats. This is about house thermostats, mm-hmm. apartment thermostats, whatever. This, if you have your temperature above, I would say seven. You could probably get away with 74. But even Maybe. that's too hot. But exactly. for me personally, that's too hot. But I will exactly. I will give you up until 75. If you're touching 75 or above in your thermostat, you can no mm-hmm. longer be trusted. You're not exactly. allowed to look at me. You're not allowed to be in the same space as me. I don't know what type of reptilian you are, but we will never get along. I cannot live. Actually, don't even invite me anywhere. Don't invite me out. Delete my number if you have my number. Delete me on Facebook. Delete me out your life. Go and see your memory files and delete anything you know of me if you keep your AC Mm -hmm. on 75 or above. That is disgusting. That's humid. It's already hot enough outside. You don't need your freaking thermostat at 75. I don't care where you live. Yes, if it's summertime, it's already hot enough outside. If it's Mm -hmm. above 80 plus degrees, it's hot enough outside. Fahrenheit. Yeah, nah. We don't have time. We don't have time for that shit. Like, the perfect temperature is between 68 and 70 degrees. I don't care what anybody says. That's, if that's too cold for you, put on a jacket. Bro, <laughs> I, remember, a <laughs> I remember I had a, uh, a roommate. <clears throat> it's really funny, man, because he's, uh, he's from Puerto Rico. Hold on, keep talking. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> this, this, he's from Puerto Rico. Um, so, you know, obviously... They're used to uh, hotter temperatures. I actually went to Puerto Rico earlier this year, but they're used to hotter temperatures, like yeah. 80s, 90s, like plus, like every, like every day, basically, throughout the whole, like throughout the year. And I remember one time, because he, he had like, he needed a place to stay. So he came over to my, uh, my apartment, and he's like, yo, it's freezing in here. <laughs> like, because I used to keep my shit on like 65. Like, exactly. I ain't going to lie. Like, I ain't going to lie. Some nights... Like when it like, cause here for some reason we have really weird weather. Like mm. sometimes it'll be consistent. Like it'll drop to like sixties at night, yeah. and then you'd have those random days where it'll just drop to like 40, 30 degrees at night. And mm-hmm. okay, when you have when outside is thirty degrees, it's usually pretty 
good in the house. Like inside the house, it's usually good without the AC. But when you when it's 30 degrees outside and it's 65 inside with the AC, bro, mm-hmm. you wake up feeling like a popsicle. Like I remember that, yo. I I very like I'm very aware. Like I remember waking up. Like it wasn't even time for me to wake up. I remember I woke up like out of my sleep, and I'm like, it was like a Saturday too. Worst part. That's the worst mm-hmm. part about the freaking fucking. It's like a fucking Saturday. It was and, like uh, your boy is cold. <laughs> yeah, I I wake up and I go to the AC. I'm like, I gotta turn this shit down. All I see, <laughs> bro, because the roommate was still there. All I see is him standing outside of his door, like he has on like a full tracksuit, sweatpants, <laughs> hoodie, beanie. He has on cold, like it's like cold weather gear. He's wrapped up in a sheet, a big ass blanket. And oh he's, yo, God. he's standing outside. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, my body was cold. Like, it was freezing. Like, it was, like, it was, like, legitimately freezing. And uh-huh. he's sitting outside. He's, like, shivering. He's, like, he's, like, yo, bro, please. <laughs> he's, like, bro, please. <laughs> he's, like, turn it down. He's, like, please put the heat on. Bro. <laughs> I was, like, yo, that's exactly what I woke up for, yo. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> but, yo, if you could, um, I wish I had a picture of him, nah, bro, because he was, like, Nah, bro. It, it was it was cold to the point where your bones were hurting. Like your that your body weird. was stiffening up. Weird. Get yourself a <laughs> thick blanket, my boy. I don't have a thick blanket. <laughs> I got me a thick blanket. <laughs> but that shit, what, bro? I wish I had a picture, man. Cause it's like the middle That's of the funny. night, and this dude's just sitting there, like not in his room. He ain't playing no games, mm-hmm. but he just standing outside his door, shivering. <laughs> I was dying. Like I was warm. like, yo, what's it's good like with you, bro? It's like, it's warmer out here in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, god damn. <laughs> like, after that day, like, I, I, I kept my, the temperature around, like, 68, 70, because I knew he was, like, dying. Some, some that mom, he was legit some dying. Be wilding, you know? Some of the people be wild, and I'll just they'll be like, bro, I'm sweating. I was like, bro, I'm cold. I'm like, bro, I'm literally sitting here sweating. What do you mean you're cold? Yo, there are some people that like, like I, I used to know someone that uh she would get cold when it's mm. like sixty degrees Fahrenheit or fifty degrees. It was, like, it was like around fifty degrees Fahrenheit. She would be cold. I know some people's because like they have like anemia or shit like that. You know they get cold real fast with the iron deficiency and stuffs like that. But there's some people that are just like at least like we've had this conversation conversation before how the South makes you weak. At least oh in the, my in god, the, yes, the South freaking, definitely like, makes you weak. <laughs> Like there's some people that take it to the max. For I remember one day it was um it was still springtime, but it was like right before like you know it starts getting real hot and <clears throat> like the temperatures were starting to rise. Like you know how it is here, freaking through most of winter we had like 90 degree weather and yep. shit like that. And then there was like one day, there was like a whole week when it was like 50 degrees. I go to fucking Walmart. This lady is in Walmart. It's 50 degrees, mind you. Like I said, about 50 degrees. This lady is in Walmart in a full winter coat. What? Exactly. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I, that's, that's insane. <laughs> like, I'm like, it is not that cold. Like, I understand it was like 80 and 90 degrees like the other day, but it is not winter cold. cold. What are you doing? Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I can't miss stuff like that, man. But it... I think it was just because um, she was mm. she was from California, California. She's from California, yeah. So it doesn't be. it doesn't really get cold like that down there. So I guess their definition of cold was like mm. sixty degrees. But you know, she was taking it to the extreme, bro. She would have on like a a big ass like jacket in sixty degree weather. I'm like, yo, what are you doing? Mm. <laughs> like she's sitting there, and the worst part is like you know she was cold because like her, yo her nose and her cheeks would just turn red. Like when she's, if she was standing outside in the cold for two, excuse me, the cold with air quotes, if she's standing out there that like long enough, her her cheeks and her nose just starts to turn red. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? But I think eventually she insane. got used to it after like four or five years. I was that like, God insane. damn. <laughs> like, I, after, like, I thought I got noticed, I was like, yo, you're, you're legitimately cold. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, like, I left her alone after. I was like, "All right, you got it. I guess you are really cold." 
Yeah, before I moved down here, I lived like further up north, you know, in Kentucky area. And like, bruh, it used to get like, I think the coldest it got whenever we were up there, because we had like a fucking blizzard one year that literally knocked out, it knocked out all the power in like the surrounding area and the backup generator on post. Because <laughs> that, 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 the blizzard was insane. But like the coldest it got was like, I think like negative 16 while we were up there. No. Yeah, it got like negative 16 up here. Then I got like moved down here and I'm like, why y'all like all bundled up? It's like 20 degrees. It's not that bad. <laughs> yeah, no. Like I would leave the house with like a thin ass jacket on and be fine. If you were like have these full on winter coats covered up in scarf, and I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I remember when uh, I first came down here too. Like uh, I was at the bus stop. <clears throat> I remember the bus driver was looking at me crazy because <laughs> it's like <clears throat> it's like the middle of the winter it's like maybe 30 degrees outside and i'm sitting at the bus stop i'm sweating i don't know how yep. the heck i'm sweating Same. but i'm sweating in 30 degrees with sh basketball shorts and <laughs> fucking a tank top and i just see because i ain't know anybody here i, was, I just, i'm just sitting there i'm like new and people are looking at me like, yo, what the fuck is this dude on? Like, and, why is he in that <laughs> Yeah, I, I pull up in the bus. The bus driver is like, the bus lady, she's like, hey, you need to get a jacket. Like, you're going to freeze. I'm like, trust me, I'm burning. I was like, I'm burning up right now. Like, it's hot. Y'all ain't hot. <laughs> and, like, the weirdest thing is, like, I swear, I swear, I don't know what it is, but I feel like 30 degrees here or 20 degrees here is not the same as 30 degrees up north because it really one year i went back up north i looked at the temperature i was like oh, okay it's only about you know 40 degrees i was like i'll be all right with you know shorts and t-shirt <clears throat> mind you when i was living up there wherever i was at um i didn't have on shorts and tank top like ever i always had on like mm -hmm. jackets and stuff but for some reason after like being in the south i was like, oh you know it's fine 30 degrees i'd go up there i didn't bring a hoodie <laughs> I ain't bring a jacket. And soon as I stepped off the plane, I was like, hey, mm -hmm. yo. <laughs> I was like, nah, chill. It's cold as fuck. I can't even say anything because I did the same fucking thing. My mom went up to like, uh, we were going up to like Maryland to go visit some of her family or some shit like that. And we stopped over in like Virginia on the way. Like, bro, we weren't even all the way up there yet. We were in Virginia. I ain't bring any jackets, no nothing, because I did the same thing. I was like, bro, we've been out there before. It's only like freaking like, like you said, 40s and 30s. I'm like, it's not even that bad. Like, I'll bring like, I, I think I bought a long sleeve shirt and I wasn't, oh, and I wasn't no. wearing it on, and I wasn't wearing it on the drive up there. We get to like Virginia, like Northern Virginia. I'm like, yo. I'm yep. cold. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Hey, I got me a nice hoodie though. I actually still wear yeah. that shit. I, I, I bro, I, de I I immediately went to one of my cousin's house. I was like, yo, let me borrow a jacket, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, was like, I need a jacket, bro. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm like, telling you, it's gonna be good. Like my good. fingers were cold, my ears were cold, like my face was cold. Up north has a different kind of cold bro yeah <clears throat> don't let it be windy don't let it be oh windy, yeah bro the wind too like like here like the wind you think the wind's bad but it's not nah. up north bad nah it's not up north bad like up north winters disgusting exactly that's why chicago we make a pizza like that so they can climb inside of it <laughs> oh they gotta climb inside and eat it up <laughs> 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 Chicago, I'm sorry, but you guys don't have pizza. I'm sorry, but I think we can. Uh, I think we can wrap it up here. Yeah, boy, it's been a good time. So, uh, if you made it this far, go ahead and comment in a goo again. Uh, so, uh, yeah, shout out to anyone that stuck around for the entire episode. If you enjoyed the podcast, go ahead and twerk on that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any future episodes. We have some good topics coming up, and we we'll, we will be recording mm -hmm. another one for. Anime Monday? Yeah, Monday. Yeah, that's what we decided on. Monday. Yeah, Anime Monday. Hopefully. Uh, you can keep up with us through the Discord link in the description box below. And our, all of our uh, social medias will be there as well. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. You got Peace. anything to say? Nah. No?
Nope. All right. See y'all later.